Okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Lady Alicia Hamilton, and this is the ADDI, the African Diaspora Development Institute's California chapter meeting. Uh, so we are gathering of uh, representing the state of California. And because California is so huge, it's actually a region. Uh, so we have our core meeting, which is today. Uh, we also in the future will have our Northern and Southern California chapters. But for right now, we're focusing on getting our core group together. And um, I thank you for, for joining us today. We're gonna to try to keep this meeting to an hour. Uh, and uh, I sent the agenda over. You should have had a chance to see it. Uh, really, this will be a review for some and an introduction uh, for others on the ADDI and, and the movement that is amazing. I mean, going around the world, around the world, people of African descent on the continent and around the world are coming together as we speak, moment by moment, more people gathering. In fact, I was so excited today to see South America, the chapters coming up from South America. And, and we know that this is a, a super important time in our history because so many of us have been cut off from our history, from our ancestry. And under the leadership of our ambassador, Arakana Chahambori Kwao, we have had the opportunity to really reshape our perspective and our narrative about who we are and what that means for our future, for our children's future, for our legacy, uh, just connecting with, with our brothers and sisters around the world. So I am so honored to uh, serve in this position as your interim chair as we get uh, the California chapter together. We're joined today with our co-chair, uh, Mr. Agrippa Azozo. And uh, do you want to say anything to, to everybody? No, I'm just I'm just glad to see everybody here. Let's let let's let's get our hands dirty. Let's clean up Africa. Let's clean up all the all the black diaspora all over the world. Uh, Ambassador Arikana is ready. Alicia is ready, and I think all of you are ready by calling in today. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, Gabriel. We also have I see our uh, Abraham Karens who is joining us from Dubai. Uh, and many of our other core team members. Uh, so thank you all for being here this evening. So again, uh, keeping this to the agenda, I'm just going over today, uh, ADI, ADDI, uh, what our main objectives are right now so we can all be on the same page with what we're trying to accomplish in the, in the immediate. Uh, there's so much going on. And so this is gonna be an ongoing gathering uh, every two weeks, we'll try to do this every two weeks. Our next meeting will be, oh, somebody help me with this. I think it's the 14th of December. Um, let's see, the 16th, 16th. Thank you. Um, and then that'll be our last meeting for 2020. And then we will resume again, I believe it's January 13th, which will be the second week in January. And then we'll meet uh, bi-weekly, unless for some reason, we decide we have to do another meeting or you know, for the sake of a project or something that's going on. But every two weeks, we're gonna gather and, and uh, just keep the, the, the movement going. So I know there are quite a few of you who have not been to an ADDI gathering. So uh, for the sake of our newcomers and a review for others, I'm gonna share my screen and just go over a couple things Starting with, you guys let me know if you can see my screen. Can everybody see my screen there? This is the ADDI homepage uh, for our website. It's located, it's located at ouraddi.org. I'll be dropping all of these links in the chat. So you can write them down or uh, uh, save the chat as well. And so when you go, if you have not been to the website, please go there. There's a lot of information on this website, uh, information about our ambassador uh, and, and the growth of the organization. So for the sake of this meeting, I'm not gonna go through that, but what we want everyone to do is join the movement, okay? Um, and that is our goal. One of the goals is to, 
uh, we want to get six, oh, I'm sorry, one million members is, is one of the immediate goals. Uh, it is free to join AZDI. We're looking at uh, putting the numbers together so we can represent officially the sixth region of the United States. And so, I mean, uh, the sixth region of the African diaspora. So that includes not only the United States, but the other diasporans, people who live off the continent of Africa around the world. Uh, and so that is our number one and prime objective is to do that. Uh, when you go to the website, as you can see here, there are many events. Uh, the ambassador is speaking to many groups uh, from the lawyers group to the, the uh, engineer group to the nurses, doctors, etc. Uh, and so that's one of the reasons today we'll be going through some of the uh, sectors and things that are available. But when you go to the website, you'll be able to see what events are also uh, coming up where she'll uh, be speaking. Uh, the next objective, in addition to getting the membership, so share, share, share ADDI with your friends, family, with your, um, you know, your colleagues, and, and we want to definitely make those numbers happen. And I believe that that can happen. We can do this. Uh, and the sooner the better. Uh, if we could do it this year, it'd be great. We're going to get it kind of close to the end of the year, but uh, uh, we definitely are asking for your support to spread the word and have people join. Um, the next thing is the, uh, the book, uh, Africa 101. If you guys have not seen or have gotten your copy, Gail, do you have your copy close by where you can uh, hold it up? This is a book I'm telling you that every family of African descent in the world needs to have this in their library. And I'm not saying that just to sell the book. I'm, I'm saying it because it's so much information that you just won't get in school. I mean, things that we have been overlooking. In fact, when we were looking at the comments from South America today, what they were saying in Argentina, and they have a group coming up from Argentina, they were saying that, thank you, Gail, so much. Gail is showing uh, the book, uh, Africa 101. Now, let's see, how do we get, can you guys see the book? Gail, you might have to unmute and say something so you can be in the frame or I have to stop sharing. Okay, can you see it now? Uh, let's see. Let me stop sharing. No. Okay, let's try it again, Gail. Can you see it? Say something. Yes. Talk about it. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. So hold, and it's a this, beautiful. If you can open up the page one. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, I've got stuff everywhere cold. in here. There you go. The beautiful hardcover <laughs> book. There's also a soft cover. But it's absolutely gorgeous and, and something that really, I think everyone should have one in, in their library. Because again, it's information you just won't get otherwise. When yes. I was looking at the comments from South America today, uh, one of the posts was about how they have been so disconnected from their history mm -hmm. that when they were taking, taking over, they just made, Europe just made Argentina their extension of Europe and proceeded to educate in the school system and throughout all of their media about white people. It wasn't anything about black people, like they weren't there. And they felt so disconnected from who they are because they don't see themselves represented. They don't even, they're not taught their, their history in school. And they are so grateful to connect now with ADDI because now they have the opportunity to really find out who their history is, to feel connected to something, to be part of this amazing people that we are. And it's not just in Argentina, it's everywhere. You know, some places a little more progressive than others, but at the end of the day, the, the issue is that it's gonna take this group, what we're doing here at ADDI to make a difference for the future of people of African descent. So it's an amazing time to be alive and an amazing time to be a participant. And we have so much to learn, but we also have so much to give. And I'm so excited again to be a part of this movement. So uh, Gail, thank you for sharing um, your screen, but the ADDI, I'll, I'll show you that again. When we go to, uh, I'm sharing my screen again. So if you go to, and again, I'll post these links for you ouraffrica101.org. Uh, you can get uh, 
a copy of, of the book. There is also a PDF version, like a, a Kindle type version, uh, which has the information, uh, not quite as, uh, as expensive. However, I will tell you that the, um, it doesn't present the same way as the hardcover. So it's beautiful and all the information is there. It just looks different because it's in a PDF version rather than the, um, the hard copy. The other thing that's very interesting about this book as well is that the links, uh, she has these uh, QR codes uh, on the pages and you can hold your phone uh, over the uh, QR code and it takes you to a video of the ambassador speaking. And so it, it's a very interactive type of book where you get even more when you hold up the QR code and, and see the, uh, oh, thanks, Gail. And see if I can stop sharing so you can see that. Can you say something, Gail Marie? Because I don't think it'll switch over to see you. Unmute yourself. You have to unmute yourself and say something. Okay, this is, um, this book is amazing. I mean, I just, it should be taught everywhere. Africa 101 is the 100% Hold it up, truth. 100% truth of history. And um, I mean, it's, it's just the best read. I don't want to put it down. I just don't. So, thank you, thank you so much. So that QR code you should have seen at the bottom, if you hold your phone over that code, it takes you to a video with the ambassador speaking even more in depth about you know, what she's sharing in this amazing book. Okay, yep. so if you have not joined, uh, when you're at the uh, website or go to raddi.org forward slash join, uh, this takes you to the page where you can sign up. If you haven't already, it's, you know, it's not real intrusive, first name, last name, email, uh, what country you're from, your age group, uh, your company, your profession, and subspecialty, and subscribe. Very simple, very painless, not asking you for credit cards, anything, we just want your information, and please be sure to share your profession and your specialty, because that will help as we uh, move forward with our, our programs and initiatives to see who's in what area. So wh where you live, because we're grouping people geographically uh, by states here in the US and, and uh, by countries, depending on the size uh, and, and uh, regions. Uh, but uh, then from there, we're looking at the, the groups, the, the different uh, uh, sectors. And so that's what I will, uh, speak about next. But if you have not joined, please go to the website, raddi.org, and there's places there to click everywhere to join, or you can just do forward slash join there and go to that page. And that's what you want to share with other people as well so they can, uh, so they can also join. We want to get those 1 million members. So that's one objective. Okay, so before I go into the um, the sectors, are there any questions or anything now? Uh, I have a question. Okay. Uh, Alicia, how many is in the group at, right now as we are speaking? Uh, 31. 31. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, which is really good. You just need 20 to start a chapter. And uh, so we were doing really well. This is just our second meeting, our second gathering. Uh, and thank Alicia, you again, everyone for coming. Alicia, this is Bjorn. I asked, I had asked the question. I was concerned, I'm interested in, in the worldwide ADDI. If we're, if we have a target of 1 million, just curious about where we're starting from, from our perspective today. What number we have? Yes. Well, yes. Today. Do you know? Oh, I'm sorry. You're saying how many people we have who have joined already today? Yes. Of worldwide, the ADDI organization. If we have a target of 1 million, that, well, 1 million is not for the California chapter alone, is it? No, 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 that's for the world. Right, so then I'm trying to figure just in terms of how I work, in terms of motivation, where are we starting from? Well, I say, Agrippa, can you help me with that? I don't think we hit the 10,000 mark yet. I think we're okay. in the 8,000-ish the eight, 8, range. Okay. Agrippa, oh, yeah, can you help me? That's all I needed. Okay. He may have an exact number, so I'm asking my, my partner. I don't, no, I don't have the exact number yet. Mm -hmm. But we are close to ten thousand or more. Yeah. Abraham, Abraham is on the line, so Abraham might have the. 
We're, yes. we're about to, uh, uh, hello everyone. Hi, this is Abraham. I'm the, Hi, uh, the Abraham. CFO. Hi guys, thank you for joining. Uh, we're about 10,000 mark. Uh, okay. Sorry, I can't show my face. I'm in Dubai, I'm sleeping. So uh, thank you all. Thank you. Okay, so we have passed the 10,000. That was one target. So we made one benchmark. That's right. But we need to add some zeros to that 10,000. <laughs> I, I think though, at least I think uh, most people are waiting for California chapter to, to get the ball rolling. Yeah. Because they, they know that when California moves, the whole world moves. Yes. So it's a lot of work on our hands. Thank you. Yes. You can do that. Yes. Thank you. Could I make a suggestion? Sure. Okay, if everybody on this call invites five um, organizations, like um, I will invite the, the Black female attorneys of UCLA. That's one. I will invite the California Black Chamber of Commerce. That's two. I will invite the Kansas City Chamber of Commerce. That's three. And that way we've got like, um, instead of inviting one person, which is fine because everybody's important, but invite the president of a group that can spread the word. And that way, that's the way we grew to, I think 30, from 27,000 to 37,000, I think in Kenya within six months, because we kept, uh, talking to people in groups instead of right. only individual. So right. even though I am part of the community outreach, I think if all of us invite even just one group, just one group would be just fine. Just the president of one group or the secretary or somebody, they could be whatever. It doesn't matter, oh. especially youth groups. So Gail so Marie, what about- I want to say. What about my aunts, uh, AKAs or Deltas? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Yes. We'll yeah. do. Uh, It'll be do done you guys do, do you guys have all the talking points for EDDI that we need to share with you when you talk to oh, yeah. your your friends when you're going to hire them because I think if they know what Her Excellency is putting out there to the world. Every black person will be jumping up and down and dance all day long. Right. That is how I say it. That is how, you know, the passion that she, she, she's bringing on. There are so many programs out there, economic development, you know, reparation, you name it. She got it covered. And I think yeah. each and every one of us will have something to gain from it. So yeah. we are ready for this journey. And yes, yeah. your, your, your idea is very, very excellent. I'm going to try to get the UCLA Black Alumni and also the the whole California State Black alumni, you know, to the table. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Alicia. Sorry to to cut no, you off. No, no, that's what that's what we're here for. This is a right. California. This is a California meeting today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have the one hundred black men. Uh, I have the one hundred black men that I with the president of different chapters that I can bring them. Yes, Wonderful. Atlanta to Vegas, all over. Yeah, I so used to sorry. play bid with with uh with uh with the president of of uh i think he was the president national president of I, NAACP. I, I, I know who i think i know who you were thinking Ron about Hassan. You know, for years. yes yeah. Yeah. Gonna, many years i'm gonna email him right now as a matter of fact <laughs> tell him get on this call yeah. <laughs> well thank you thank you and this is exactly what we want to do actually when i uh reached out to even those of you who are here on the phone today I know everyone here represents many, many more people. And so uh, I, I'm very thankful for your, your interest and then hoping that you would do just what we're talking about. Think of other groups that we can reach out to because, okay, so where this is going with the 1 million members is that right now, officially, there is not an official seat at the African Union for the six regions. So you have Africa's five regions, Northeast, South and West and Central. The sixth region is the diaspora at large, people who live outside of the continent of African descent. So there is not an official voice right now 
uh, at the African Union representing that six region. So some of the interests may come across, but there's not like an official a body that represents the six region. And so mm -hmm. what Ambassador uh, uh, Arakana was looking at is if you look at one of the maybe smaller countries who have right about a million people, if we had a million members at ADDI, we could be commensurate with one of the smaller countries in terms of bodies of people and represent that constituency. And so that would give us the leverage really that, that we need to then, uh, you know, say that we are representing the diaspora. Of course, the diaspora is much bigger than that, but the 1 million mark would give us the leverage that she's seeking to take the next step with that. And so with that being said, um, that is why uh, we we're pushing for this first benchmark, but I think we can even pass that benchmark really um, of, of 1 million people. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to move then into next this uh, uh, discussion about the uh, sectors. And so let me share my screen again. And so how she uh, is approaching the sectors. Oh, there's some more people coming. Sorry. Alicia, do you have anybody in your helping you? Uh, well, I asked you about that. <laughs> I know, but I don't know that. how to do it. If you tell no, me how to do okay. it, I'll do it. Grip, I didn't get a chance to talk to you. It's all right. Um, as those of you who are just joining us now, the meeting is being recorded, and I will send the link out Oops, afterwards sorry. so you can hear what, what you've missed. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, we'll, we'll go from here. We'll be okay. All right. So in terms of sec uh, uh, sectors, uh, how uh, Ambassador Quao is, is approaching this, uh, I'm gonna sh let me go ahead and share my screen. There are several sectors, and we may even be adding to these sectors. Uh, but what she would like to do is look at activating the sectors where there is not well. Th there'll be an interest, but you also we, we also want people who will work in those sectors. Like so, people who want to look at leading a sector, being a part of it, and working to help build it then she will uh, look at then growing that sector. So we're not trying to do all the sectors at one time. It's a matter of where we have people who are um, active and, and willing to work. Uh, the projects that will come will be across all of these various sectors and it's gonna take a lot of work to organize the various areas of interest. So some sectors have already begun uh, doing some work like the, the engineer sector, they're very active. And so those of you who have a background in, in uh, uh, engineering, for example, uh, you may be able to join that sector or if we have enough here in California, we, we may have a California engineering sector who also works within the other engineering sectors with other chapters and then also uh, nationally, nationally and internationally. So. Although we have the various sectors here, we're not limited to that, meaning that we can create a sector. Uh, I was speaking to her, for example, about um, in the communication sector that there's also media, which we do have some activity there, but then entertainment. Now, because we're in Hollywood, then entertainment is, or in California, I should say, uh, where we are, that's a big sector here, but somewhere else, like maybe in Kansas or Kentucky or something, it may not be as big of an interest in, in entertainment. So the sectors may vary uh, according to the state and the region. And so what she's looking at where there is an interest and people who are willing to work and have something to contribute and, and moving it forward. Okay, so let me share my screen again here. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Everybody okay? Okay, good. All right, so generally speaking, we have the, the chairman, deputy slash vice chairman, a secretary, a treasurer, and then a communications and outreach person also combined with social media. 
So all of the chapters have those core positions. Okay, then in addition to that, there are sector chairs. So there's healthcare and pharmaceuticals. So for example, right now, there's a very active nurses group that's growing um, and, and doctors. Uh, so like I said, some of the sectors already have some activity, but then under a heading of like healthcare, there's a group of nurses, there's a group of doctors, there may be additional groups that are established underneath a particular heading. Okay, so this is not the end all of the sectors, but this is the beginning of, and then we'll get some commentary from you shortly. So just let me go through this. So we have education, infrastructure. There's definitely a need right now for people who have a background in uh, building uh, infrastructure like highways. Um, um, and actually, if anyone, I don't think we've located this, uh, uh, Agrippa, you can let me know. They were looking for in uh, one of the countries, someone who could lead a uh, oil refinery. So we got a lot of people on this line right now. If anyone here knows. Die from, uh, die from Equatorial Guinea. Right, right. Did we find someone who could do it yet? No, I not yet. We have. I don't know yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in, uh, in, in Equatorial Guinea, as, as uh, Agrippa said, we're looking for uh, someone to do uh, oil refinery. So, so, so here's, here's a challenge, guys. So we know that this, this uh, expansion is happening. And for those of you who have not heard this about the African continental free trade area. So for the first time in history, they're erasing these, these boundaries, these borders between countries. And so people will be able to trade from one country to the other without getting all the additional paperwork and tariffs and taxes and all that. It's gonna be one huge continental trading platform and or, or area for trading and doing business. That was to launch this year, but because of coronavirus, instead it will um, uh, be launched at the beginning of the year. That's really significant because with that, there's also a lot of opportunity. One in discussion has been this highway to go across the belly of Africa. There are many, 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 uh, many other opportunities though, because there's um, a mining uh, uh, projects, there's, I mean, a myriad of, of, of projects. And so what has happened now, right, there was a solar project that I, I don't know if they ever finished this, but one of the countries needed, had a need for solar power. The Chinese stepped in and said, I'll do it. They're ready, ready willing and able. And the challenge was, well, well they want to do, many of the countries, many of the presidents and, and the leadership, they want to do this business with people of African descent. But where are they? How are they organized? How, how do they get to them? How do, we, how do they find these people? And that's what ADDI will be able to do as we come together and become more organized. So when those projects come up, we can't expect someone to sit in the dark waiting for the African diaspora to do it. If China's there and they're ready, willing, and able to move forward, what are they supposed to do? Wait for us or go get some solar energy and get some lights? And, and so th this is the challenge right now. And so the, the more we come together and we're able to share our expertise and bring in the brain trust that I know exists, we just don't know where we are because we're so disconnected. And that was by design for us to be disconnected. As we come together and we erase these boundaries and you have the boundary erased with the continent, imagine what we'll be able to do. So at ADDI, we will be able to be almost a clearinghouse of opportunity for projects and for things that are going on in the continent. But in order for us to fulfill those requests, we got to know where we are, where we are in the world. We have to become educated about a lot that's been held back from us. We have to organize so we can move effectively forward. And when projects come in, we hopefully we just look at our database and go, okay, we need an oil refinery. Well, we got this person over here who does that. We've got the workers over here to do that. You know, we can do this. 
but we have to have that database and that database starts with us, with you and I coming into an understanding of listing what our expertise is. So when something comes in, then uh, they can reach out to the diaspora and finally, finally not be beholding to the Europeans and the Chinese and other people who uh, just don't do, they haven't done fair deals, man. We all, we all know the, the story, you know, that when I think about that pact for the continuation of colonization that I would have not known anything about had it not been for Dr. Eric Connor. I, I never heard of it. And they didn't teach us that one in school either. And for those of you who don't know what that is, the pact for the continuation of colonization, it's in Africa 101, but uh, even though they had stopped the uh, slave trade and said that this was not going to go on anymore and that these countries needed to have their freedom and their sovereignty and all of that, France uh, had the countries that they had their thumb on sign a pact for the continuation of colonization. And I mean, this is as recently as the, the, the mid 1950s, 60s, 70s, they still have these <laughs> contracts where what comes out of the ground is taken off to the benefit of France and very little left for the country they got it from. It was, it's a terrible situation. So, so that just, first of all, knowing about that, but rather than get angry about it, do something about it. Let's look at how we can now organize and be ready, willing, and able to fulfill contracts as they come up. So uh, again, going back now to uh, the sector chairs and good to see you, Adrian. That's our counterpart here. I just wanna give you some props, Adrian, um, Bamboo, Dagne. She has been working, so for example, of sectors, that can be developed under the headings that we have here. Uh, she did a phenomenal job in translating for the French uh, chapter. So ADDI France is mobilized because we had Adrian there to do a phenomenal job in translating in French. So props to you, Adrian. But now we're looking at developing a translation sector because we need Spanish, we need Portuguese, we need Swahili, we need, you know, other languages, Dutch, it was one that came up. Uh, so if you have that background, we also need to know. But the, the translation sector was not, it'll be a subsector under probably communications, but it wasn't on the original list, but it's something that we're looking at now because there's a need and we have people who can fulfill it. And thanks to this, this uh, great job that Adrian has done, now France has moved on and, and they're establishing their ADDI uh, uh, chapter in France. Uh, but again, we're opening up in South America and all over the world. Uh, so reverting back now to um, these, uh, uh, these sections. These are the ones that are approved thus far, but again, we're gonna be expanding this. So uh, agriculture, I know, Gail, you have a great interest. Many people have been talking about agriculture, wanting to uh, get involved in growing on uh, import and export um, uh, energy, access to energy, tourism, access to water and water resources, manufacturing, information technology, exploration and value addition of natural resources, housing and construction, banking and finance, and then um, uh, communications. I'm just going to add that here because I know that was uh, approved. So under communications, um, that uh, entertainment uh, uh, section would be a subset under uh, communications. Uh, and uh, again, the activation of this would be um, depending on you, depending on the people who are willing to work, who, who have something to, uh, to bring forward. Uh, so again, th there isn't necessarily activity in all of these. And so I would submit as well, if you have a suggestion on, on uh, uh, sectors and, and make a recommendation, then that's something that you know, we can discuss. Uh, but for sure, for California, having an entertainment uh, a sector is something that uh, she's highly considering, but that may not be needed in another state or in another country. That would be unique to California. Okay, so I'll take a pause again.
Uh, does anyone have any questions about what we've talked about thus far? Yeah. Okay, Alicia, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, um, several things. I mean, you know, I, I like to I like to help where I can. First of all, I'm on a an engineering team and they're on this call right now. They can speak up for themselves. But I have I'm on a badass team. Excuse my language. They are cold blooded. And we are uh, without this COVID thing, we would have been all over the world by now. But um, they can build anything. They can do anything. So I'll let them speak. Also, the water exploration and natural resources. I talked with my friend in, uh, well, he's in, uh, he just left Niger and now he's in South Africa. He's the one, his company, he's a French guy, older French guy who discovered the largest water, uh, underground water, what do you call aquifers in Northern Kenya from his desk in, uh, in uh, France. And that's what he does. So I called him and before I reveal who he is, I just wanted to get his okay. So he's gonna talk with you and the ambassador uh, as soon as he can stop, but uh, he doesn't wanna deal with any politics or anything. I said, there's nothing here. This is straight, bold women who are making this happen with a team of everybody else on this earth. And he's very pleased. So uh, the, wa the water expl exploration, um, uh, uh, the, the minerals, natural gas, all of that. He can see it from his desk and he's uh, re world renowned and he's uh, entered, they uh, uh, inducted him in the science science uh, hall of fame. So this is not just some little tinkering scientist. This guy is a, is a genius in exploration. I also, the main reason I want to speak up is because I would like to put uh, natural health and uh, mm -hmm. natural healing mm -hmm. and um, organic healing because I really I really think it would be a disservice to bring nothing but drugs to oh. Africa. We really need to we really I, need to start think, healing. <laughs> I don't think we're going there, but you're absolutely right. And um, under healthcare, I don't know if they yeah. have that officially yet, but well, it needs uh, to be. I'm, because uh, that's my reason. I'm for adding that in there. Sure. Yeah. Um, Lori Atwater asked about um, uh, an installation of fiber optic cable, that kind of thing. And that would be under information technology. Yeah. Uh, I know there is some discussions moving in that okay. uh, direction right. as well. Uh, so what if, if everyone can do this uh, to, tonight before you go, because we can, we'll download this chat. If you could put in the chat, your, your, if you have an area of interest, uh, and I'll put this, uh, I'll share the screen again. And if you don't see your area, then please write in what that is so we can look at what subgroups we might be able to, uh, to also uh, establish. So let me put that back up again. And as we continue our discussion, if you could put that in. Yes, um, Abraham, please, you have the floor, dear. Oh, th thank you. Thank you, uh, Lady Alicia. Um, the, the, uh, I'm Abraham, again. Uh, I, I'm the CFO of ADDI. Uh, the, the reason why we are growing this is so that the Black people all over the world will be the beneficiary of Africa's wealth, right? Um, you don't go to China and have black people leading the country's agenda. You don't go to Europe, Britain, France, even the US. We as, as people of African descent, we want to be the beneficiaries of our wealth and resources. We want to drive the continental development agenda, right? So as we organize ourselves, the goal is not to farm out deals to other people, is for them to come and partner with us. We may uh, uh, leverage the expertise, the technical,
financial resources, but you all will be the drivers of this agenda. I just wanted to share that perspective. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Abraham. Yes. Okay, does anyone else have any um, questions before we move on? So just please put in the chat your air, because the chat will show up with your name. And um, I should have your email because if, if for any reason you didn't receive an email, put your email uh, uh, in there. If you're a guest of someone and I don't have you on our mailing list for this group, please put your email in the chat as well. And then also your area of interest with the sectors. And uh, we will follow up with you. Our core team will follow up uh, to talk to you further about what your area of interest is. And again, we don't have to launch all of these at once. This is, this is the general structure. And as we move ahead, because remember we're still forming, we're still establishing uh, you know, how things will go. Um, we have a great team of professionals and we are looking to expand that with you. And again, I thank you so much for being here tonight. So, uh, Gail, do you have another comment? Yeah, I do. Um, I was just wondering if we're, if we're going to go green across the continent, I mean, I know oil refineries probably won't go out of business for a while. But maybe Augustus or uh, Bjorn or Alan can answer some of that. Um, why would we still need to refine oil? It's just a question, a girl question, I guess. I don't know. Well, um, I'm not going to say that I'm a know-it-all for stuff. And so if someone has an a opinion, I think at this point we can give an opinion about that. But uh, until there is something presented better than that solution. Uh, that is the direction that they know and, and, and what they're going with. Remember, there's a lot of resource in, in, in oil there uh, that it would be considered a commodity. Um, and so it would make sense if they have the resource they would wanna try to do something with it and use that as a source of fuel. But as we know, yeah. there is a great yeah. debate about you know clean energy, but you know there's there's a debate on both sides of that because if you're still using fossil fuels and still you know I, I just don't understand the deforestation thing to make clean fuel that makes no sense to me personally you know why yeah. you gonna cut down trees that take thousands of years hundreds of years to grow and use it up and you can't replace it you know so I just don't personally that's my personal opinion um, but people will say oh you know you got to use wood chips we got to use something clean. But then you cutting down the trees. So, but then know. there's, but 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 uh, Alicia, there's also renewables. Right. Africa yep. has a lot of sun, has a lot of wind, oh, and, yes, and those alternatives in terms of alternatives to fossil fuels. Right. Yep. There's tremendous resource in Africa there as yep. well. That's all I'm yes, saying in the renewable. Alicia, I, this is Lori Atwater. Hi, Lori. And and I would consider myself an energy subject matter expert. So, so what I would say is that there are many contracts, many agreements that are in place related to the production and export and use of fossil fuels. And you can't cut the spigot off. We will have to examine every single contract. And this is something that it's going to take a, a hundred people to do to actually help to untangle uh, these nations from all of these excessive and abusive contracts. But certainly with the use of fossil fuels, with the environmental damage related to the extraction of fossil fuels, all of that needs to be addressed, addressed very directly. I'm a proponent of renewable energy. Um, we have to do a lot of studies on the continent to identify where uh, the best solar resources across the continent and where the best locations for hydroelectric plants, where are the best locations for geothermal energy. Geothermal energy is one of the best sources of electricity. However, 
it requires a lot of geotechnical work and a lot of engineering before you can actually build those plants and extract it. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done before the continent of Africa could shift from a dependence on fossil fuels to um, the full use of renewable energy. Bring a bag. Well, thank you. And thank Alicia, you. this is Bamboo, I'm sorry. I catch you on the go. I hear you speaking. Hi, good evening. <laughs> I mean, I mean, multiple things. Well, uh, if you allow me to say something uh, regarding uh, what we are doing in Senegal right now. Yes, please proceed. Please okay. Proceed. okay. Well, what's yes. happening is right now we have something that is important uh, in Africa. Uh, we know that the higher population in Africa is composed by young people. Almost 70% of the of African, uh, the population is well, 1.2 billion people, mm -hmm. right? Uh, 1.2 billion and you have 70% who are young people. Uh, and we have a shortage of uh, manpower, but most of the anything, we have been trained to be, first of all, workers, but also we always think that the best job we can get are like, uh, how can you say, high class level job, like being a doctor, being a, a lawyer, being an attorney, being a nurse, etc. We forgot one thing is in order to work in certain place, you need to have the equipment that is set proper. I remember. But we hear the inside. Um, I said, excuse me, whoever has, whoever's not speaking, can you please uh, mute your mic? Because uh, it's spilling mm -hmm. over. Please mute yourself. I'm sorry. Mr. Uh, Vera, Vera Lewis, please mute your mic. Well, let me see if I can do it on this side. Hold on. Thank you. Then I remember in 2015 when President Mahaman came from Ghana, came to Los Angeles, I asked him one question. Uh, my sister Jocelyn was the president of the Ghanaian Association at this time, allowed me to just ask her one question. And I asked why we are not working or hiring people who are from the continent uh, and work with each other. He told me, you know, whenever there is a contract and whenever we want to, uh, put some, uh, have some laborers, um, well, do something like developing program. We don't have the uh, manpower. We don't have the people who are highly qualified to just do the work. We have to find people from overseas like China, like Europe, because we don't have enough people who are doing that. I say, okay, fine. Then today what we are doing in Senegal, we have a school right now and I'm working on it with, uh, uh, a group of uh, young people. Um, we already have the site, we already have the school. This Saturday, we will be talking about program. We have somebody who is training on the ground in uh, solar energy. And we are looking also for uh, people who can, uh, caregivers, for example. We don't have in Africa caregivers who are not medical professional, you know? Uh, in 2001, I write a proposal on home-based care. Was uh, it was in Tanzania with the refugees? Was to know how to take care of patients with chronic disease without being a nurse or a doctor or a nurse assistant, but just the person Landa that we have here, like the nanny, like the adult caregiver. We don't have that in Senegal. Meaning we are starting to homogenize. Uh, uh, the program, and I'll be training people on etiquette and how to handle a uh, patient, how to take care of people, but to have a homogenization of uh, the program with all the standards with people uh, doing the same thing in different places because there is a shortage today of uh, health of uh, caregivers in different countries. There is a shortage of young people who can also, in another side, work in uh, being able to fix, for example, a radio, uh, radio uh, 
an X-ray, who can uh, fix a scanner, who can fix any uh, equipment that we have because the people who are doing that are also coming from overseas. Meaning this is the main goal for us right now before going into the big industry and spend 10 years before get, being able to get into the oil program, Senegal has oil, right? Before uh, capturing this, uh, uh, how can I say, this big money, we can start doing some small thing that can help people on the ground, but also that will allow our young people and our kids to enter to do some inter exchange between countries like French speaking country and English speaking countries and Lisophone and those who are speaking Spanish and Portuguese because that exists still in Africa, country who are speaking Portuguese and other who are speaking Spanish. We can start by that. And I think is the main thing that we have to focus on for me on the short term before going on the midterm and long term. If we train our youth, they will not take the boat like we have in Senegal, 400 kids who cross 500, who cross and die in the ocean because they think that life is better in Europe. We have also people who have land right now who can give us the land to uh, develop agricultural program rather than um, and do some micro cities to be sure that people can find the same product in the cities like we have here in California. If I am in my house in, uh, if I am in LA, I will find the same thing if I go to Palm Desert. I will find a bank, I will have a store, I will have all the different structure who are the same. Meaning is what we need to think about, some small program that can help and that can bring money because there is money that is given by the government here to do some project like that. Right. Thank good. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your, your comment. Um, additionally, like in, in the chat, I've posted all the links that we've uh, discussed so far, um, as far as the website, um, getting the book, um, there are social media handles. Please post also in the chat, or you can email me as well if you want to reply back to the uh, email. It's, uh, I'll put that in the chat as well, my email. Uh, your interest in a particular sector um, and, and our recommendations, okay? We're coming up to the hour, so uh, does anyone have any final uh, comments or things you want to address while I, we are all here? I do, I do. Hi, okay. Alicia, uh, the lady that was speaking uh, two minutes ago, if you have a program, if I have a program here in Los Angeles that I'm doing the community outreach program and everything that she's speaking of, and I have the connections for us getting the, the funds of grants by supplying for what the needs are, are we able to make that connection between here in Africa? Are we able to take and be able to deal with that? Because I have the resources here that I can do everything right. she's speaking of. That conversation actually came up about the uh, grant writing group, um, uh, and she was interested in form. Like that's an example of another, not necessarily a sector, but a, definitely a working a working team, because there were some people online who had that interest. Uh, and so, w w at least at minimum to start, Linda, I would think would be to get people who have that interest in grant writing and I'll, get I'll, everyone together me, me, and do a let, meeting. Okay, mm -hmm. let me let me back up. I okay. have a program that I work with a community outreach program that have all have different organizations that supply everything that she's speaking of. So it is individual groups that I have that I work with, major groups that's through Stop Central and all over. And what I was saying, am I able to bring that organization into training what we are doing here, there in Ghana? And I have the, and, and government contracts, government contracts are issued to by me being a, a professional and right. after the, my degree in that, that we can do the grant writings. I have grant writings, professors that teach all over the world, mm -hmm. getting monies for organizations. So my, sure my, thing, my, my thing my is, a, my thing is, are you able to take in trans, are we able to take and have it trade into Africa? My short answer to you is my short answer to you is yes, it's doable. Thank you. And we can work on it. 
of the world. And that's, that was don't, my don't forget, we have, we have 55 countries in Africa. So yes, nothing is off the table. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Okay. The, the main, the main um, goal for ADDR is to bring all the resources that we have not been able to come together okay. as a group. And, that, and, we, and you have to have someone that's able to communicate with that particular yes. in that country. Yes. So I have that resources also a person that's directed in the country that I'm able to do. Yes. So, so your resources, as, we, as we're talking right now, I think the president of Zambia is now inviting us again to mm -hmm. go to Zambia in April. So more information is going to be coming. All the things we're talking about, the youth and everything, everything is right there for us. So and nothing the is youth. off the table. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is this is Tunde. I wanted to quickly apologize, joining late and easy. Thank you for quickly sending it to me. Just got off work. I heard bits and pieces as my uh, reception went in and out. I heard Lady Alicia speaking earlier, uh, but because I don't know what that was discussed, but I did hear about entertainment, media, and uh, information technology. I think Isuzu can tell you that's basically all that I some of what I do and have the resources to do it. I think uh, uh, Easy spoke about it and the young lady that spoke earlier, I think what I see that ADD, ADDR is doing that is so powerful is having the resources and the demand matching each other and yes. where it is That's just, it. It is just yes. us. Yeah, it That's is just it. us. Yes. So, uh, uh, having said that, I wanted to quickly say I thank you guys for all of this opportunity and that, yes, definitely we're on the right path. And mm -hmm. I will submit through uh, ADDI California some of those things that uh, Technet Solutions, Bridge Radio, and all the others can do and be a part of this. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank we welcome you. you. Thank we welcome you. you. Thank you. So please put in the um, chat, please, your name, your email. Make sure you guys, if, I, if, if, if you didn't get an email from me, please put your email in the chat because I can download that and update the list. Also, please put in there your area of interest so I can start making a spreadsheet and submit it back to Her Excellency on what we have available in California. You should do that, Mama. I, I would like to say something. Am I, am, am I al allowed to say yes. something? Yes. Hi, Harriet. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. Hi, mama. <laughs> um, my name is Harry Karubo. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. Woo! Jambo, dada. Jambo, jambo, jambo. Niko salama. Shukran. I mean, I am so, um, so uh, gracious and uh, just to be in this platform. And I just want to say, you have no idea what resources Africa has. Yep. And coming from this country that has, I mean, oil, titanium, cultural, everything, like we have it like right there in our hand. And I, I'm privileged. And I, I just want to give a, a big shout out to um, Gail because she has been more than a mentor to me. And I just want to thank everybody for just even being on this platform today. Um, but all I want to say today is Africa is the land of resources. Yes. And we yes. cannot even allow other people, intruders, to just take over our land. Yep. Just yep. Like that. That's right. very true, very exactly. true. Very you true. know, let, 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 let me, let, oh. I mean, I, I didn't want to go there, but I'm just going to say this real go quick. Go there, girl. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go there. So, and oh, Gail, your granddaughter is on the phone. Oh, yeah. Joanna, say hi to your grandmother. <laughs> hi, mama. <laughs> she, she's over there. So this is a thing. Hmm? Britain... France, Germany, and all that. They, they don't have the resources that we have in Africa. Mm? No. no. You know, and, and even in South Africa, they don't have anything, but they had to colonize us so that they can take the resources from us. Mm? Yep. And 
until today, hmm? until today, we have, if you, if you look at Namibia, if you look at Botswana, if you look at South Africa, all the diamond and gold comes from Africa. Oh, yeah. And it's our, it's, it's, it's our people that are suffering. We have to mine for them. And then guess what? The money goes to them. It doesn't come to us. So we end up being poor. I, I mean, I've lived it. I came here when I was 21 years old. And just to see it, you know, reenact all over again, it's really, really, really hard for me to even comprehend and just to accept that this is what um, a country like America does or Britain does. So all I can say is, until African people know what they have and what they are worth of, they will never comprehend what the Lord has given them. Yeah. You know, so, and, it's in the book. and it's in the book. Yeah. And yeah. I tell you, okay. my perspective changed when I met Gail because she opened my eyes to a point where I started perceiving what life really is. And this woman, what she has done to my life, <laughs> you, you, you hear my children, they, they, they call her Grandma Gail, but she's That's not right. only a mentor, she's a giver and she has done so much for me. When you get information, when you, when, when you understand the truth, that's when you get and yeah. you have the truth um, work in your life, that's when everything changes. Just know the truth, Thank act you, on the truth. Sweetheart, I love you. you. You know I love you to death. You are more than it a set mother. You free. Set you free. It's well, just, I want everybody to free. know that, that Harriet came over here to America with, uh, uh, with uh, what's the girl's uh, name? Jo jo Joanna. No, no, no. What's, what's the little actress's name? Uh, Lupita, Lupita. Lupita. She came with Lupita and my, and our, our mutual friend in Kenya, um, has a, uh, 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 a magazine called Africa Couture, Couture Africa. As a matter of fact, Harriet, let, uh, Olive know she needs to be on this call so that she can put this in her, in her magazine. She has a yeah, beautiful I, I can, magazine. I, I'll, I'll call her right now. Yeah, and she she uh, she sponsored Harriet and I think Lupita to come over here. I think, well, I know Harriet to come over here in a beauty contest and Lupita mm -hmm. won beauty contest and Harriet won uh, Miss Congeniality. So wow. these are these are famous people on the phone here. But thank you for the uh, accolades. But girl, it's all about giving okay. to Africa right now. Everything needs to be given. Everything needs to be rooted up here and, and taken over there. And, and the technology, transfer of technology, I don't care if it's bobby pins. I don't care if it's uh, purses or irons. We need everything there. So just let's just bring it. Let's just bring it. And I'm, I just want to thank everybody on this call. Thank you. thank you so much, my dear. Thank, thank you. So we have uh, we're we're to our um, to our eight o'clock hour, uh, and so I do want to uh, wrap up. And if you guys want to stay on for a little longer to exchange some comments, that's fine. But I do want to be respectful of, of what we said we would do for the hour. Um, again, uh, I'm going to post again in the chat. I'm doing that now. The links. Uh, make sure we have your your uh your email uh that we have your email and that if you have a comment about a sector that you're interested in and or recommendation about a sector to submit please post that in the chat as well and, and we'll follow up with you on that 
Okay, so um, Alisa, uh, Alisa, let me, let, Alisa, Alisa, Alisa give me one, give me one minute. Let me give uh, some update. I know we run out of time. Um, I just text a UCLA Black Alumni Association. Very interested. They're going to be joining us very, very, very shortly. She might call in. Also on Monday, this is a very great update. Sylvia was able to break through to South America. Now look at these countries that are so excited more than California that have joined ADDI. They're forming their own chapters right now. Bolivia, Venezuela, Paraguay, Ecuador, Uruguay, Colombia, Argentina, Brazil, and Peru and Chile are going to be joining them also. When they had that meeting here on Monday, I was not able to join them because I was busy at UCLA. I mean, the excitement was more than what Sylvia could handle. And she called me right away that these people, because when, when, when we talk about the African city diaspora, all focus is go to African American. Mm -hmm. Then come to the, you know, then come to Caribbean, but the South America they kind of feel left out a little bit. So this was like a home going to them. So I, I just want to let you guys know that this movement is real, and something's gonna be, you know, come out of it. So be part of history. Thank you very much. For this Thank you. Thank you. And Abraham, I'm not sure if you're still here. I saw a post that you wanted to say something. Did you have another comment before we wrapped up? Abraham Karens? Yeah, so I was going to ask uh, the group, uh, part of what we really also need is political influence uh, with the new president and the new government. If you have access that uh, we can uh, parlay to focus the policies on on, on uh, business friendly uh, policies for Africa that was missing in this particular in this in this administration. Uh, we, Excellency, myself, we welcome those relationships conversations. Abraham, my my first suggestion to in political angle, we are in California. We have Maxine Warren, we have Barbara Lee, we have Karen Bass. If we focus on those three women. Let's demand whatever we want from them. Now, Thank one more you. thing that I will put on the table too, we have to talk about violence in our community, the black on black crimes, the police killing black people in America, black children be dying in Africa. We don't make the guns in Africa. So this is something that we have to put on the table as well. So yes, Abraham, we have to make sure that we reach out to the political figures here because by getting them, it's gonna make our job easier going to Africa. So Maxine Wara should be on the table and we can reach out anytime. Thank you. But just one thing. I'll give her a call. Policy, Good. If I can allow me. We have a group named the US Africa Institute and we have policymakers. And uh, last, it, last month when we reach out to Congresswoman Karen Bass and uh, President-elected Biden and Kamala Harris, Vice VP Kamala Harris, we ask of them because they have two plans for the black people. I think I share it with people and the uh, uh, economic unity. And we ask of them if they have a plan for Africa, African descent, African from the continent who are living here in the United States. Unfortunately, they didn't have any plan. Meaning we are working on a proposal uh, if somebody want, I can send it to Alicia or David, if you want to give me your contact. We are working on it since a month. They ask, uh, we have different questions and different points that we want uh, to address to them and be sure that we will be higher when they will propose some jobs also in our continent rather than hiring people who will uh, take months, even if they look like us, take months to adapt, to integrate to the, con to the continent or to the people when they work. And I saw it myself when I worked for Doctors Without Borders, when that was taking me one week to integrate in, uh, in Kenya, in Loki, Tokyo for Operation Lifeline Sudan to South Sudan. For other people, they need like three months. When I went to Nicaragua to work there, they asked me to go to families to live there. I said, no, I speak Spanish from Africa. I learned Spanish at school in ninth grade and English in sixth grade. I will be fine. 
myself, that took me one week to get into the program and start working. Meaning I never stopped working until the moment I said, that's enough. Meaning is what we wanna do. We wanna impact into this policy. I have the different question myself. I have also the economic unity proposed for, by uh, Congresswoman Karen Bass, but it's not enough. We have to propose a platform. We have to propose, we cannot wait for someone to tell us how to impact Africa. I know right. that also there is uh, Mr. Melvin Futi. I don't know if people know him. He's also working on uh, policies in Africa, but it's not only a uh, global policy, it's not only uh, you know, homeland and security and et cetera. We need to look at the small little thing that we can do in Africa and tap into that when we propose something. And us here in the diaspora, we need also to position ourselves in this uh, category too. That's just uh, my last word. Sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, j j just to add on, just to add on, I under I, I really resonate um um with you for everything that you have said. I speak fluent Spanish myself and I learned Spanish in Africa, not in America. And it has helped me even just build my children um to where they are right now. And people do not even understand that how much Africa has developed to a point where it is right now and i i, I am i am with you a hundred percent my dear and I'm, I'm 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 gonna support every single thing <laughs> that every every endeavor that you do i'm gonna be right there with you and my daughter also speak everybody knows her she knows the politics here she was not born here but she's here with me uh, she know politicians since the age of five. Andrew William, Alicia Hamilton, many people know her. She also, she grew up here. She came here, she was three years old. She speaks English, Spanish, French, and Italian. I made it mandatory for her, even if it's not mandatory, in public school. Meaning she's here and she's 18 I now. I got your back. Yeah, and we're going to take this to another level. She's active in politics because I teach her about the politics since she was young. She was the one who was pushing her friends to go to vote this year because they didn't know who they have to vote for. Meaning this is also an education of our children to get involved into the activities in this country where we are living. Because if we continue to close our eyes and say, oh no, we are not concerned, we are going back home, we are doing a wrong job because we are living here. Nobody knows what will happen and we see what's happened during four years. Meaning is our time is our time, our kids' time, our children need to learn also how to navigate the system here to rise because we have been uh, the victim of what is happening up to now on gentrification, on uh, toxic that is put in water that we are drinking. Uh, we have the luxury of living in some nice place we can because it's also uh, uh, an entitlement from the other people, meaning is our time to just say, okay, now that's enough. We want to change it. Thank yes. you so much. Sorry, Alicia. I catch you on the go. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> we're, we're good, guys. So look, we, we, we have gone over. So we're going to wrap the meeting for today. I thank you for your comments. I thank you for your enthusiasm. Please, please, please post in the chat or email me. I posted my, my email uh, in the chat as well. I'm um, appreciating the comments. And we already have from uh, Candy. Nicole, thank you. Relationships with the White House, thank you very much. We'll be reaching out to you. And I see many of you have posted also your uh, sector interests. Thank you. Uh, and, and we'll be reaching out. So again, you have registrations. Please join ADDI. We want to get those numbers. Share, share, share. And tell others as well to join so we can get that million mark. If you can get Africa 101, the wake up call, it's a history you will not regret having. And there is a hard copy, a soft copy and a PDF copy for uh, a Kindle. And we will meet again uh, in two weeks on Wednesday. I'll send an announcement out after this meeting. I will send a link to a recording uh, so you can get the notes again if you'd like uh, and uh, have that for uh, your reference. 
So that'll go out to you tomorrow. And let's see, please share the link to share with friends and family. Oh, thank you, uh, Lala. It's uh, for the website. I'm gonna post those uh, links one more time here. So just um, have them go to the website and or to join, uh, but I'm, I'm posting it again that you can share with you can share with your friends and family and colleagues and everybody, everybody of African descent everywhere in the world. <laughs> this is history. This is history being made right now. Uh, and you're part of that being here with the California chapter. So I just posted all the links again. Uh, and uh, that will be it. If there's no other words. Uh, 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 one last thing to say. This is uh, Herman LeBron Jones. Anne Marie. Uh, Herman, what's up? Yeah, Gail Marie. I don't know whether to show my face or not. My hair ain't cold. You better. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what can I tell you? Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, woo. Uh, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh, but this is incredible. Uh, Gail Marie, uh, powerful uh, lady Alicia uh, Hamilton, uh, and everybody. Kudos. Uh, Aluta. Uh, continua, you know, uh, a victory asserta. So we are going to make it, you know, we're going to climb this mountain, get to that apex and look around the planet and join all our hands together to make this an armata of uh, interests, uh, revenue, communications, health, uh, climate, the whole nine yards. My interest uh, specialty is theater and teaching uh, youth to be able to present, not to be afraid to put their voices out. And uh, I know I saw some others with the uh, communication piece, but I, I could not let this go by without saying thank you, Gail Marie, for the invitation. Bye, y'all. You are so welcome. You are the man. Hey. So welcome. <laughs> Okay, you guys. Well, thank you so much. We had a very great meeting today. We are at the at top, I think we had 34 participants today. Uh, I thank you so much. Again, the email will go out with the review. Uh, email me, email us, give, her, give your posts. We are excited and the best is yet to come. So we'll have one more meeting before Amen. the end of the year. We'll have more updates uh, in a couple of weeks. But God bless you all. Enjoy the holiday season. Stay safe, please. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you, my daughters, for coming. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, Alicia. Okay. Alicia. Yes, sir. The UCLA Black Alumni President just called in. Ah. Michelle, are you online? Just say hi to everybody. Hello, everyone. There you go. What's up, Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. Well, I, am, I am so late. I was on client calls with Easy. was like, get in, get in. So I caught the last minute. I'll look for the for the summary. Yes. The we'll send you an email. Put, put your email. Well, Easy, you have her email. Oh, yes. Yeah, I have, 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 have a contact. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Don't so worry. We'll get, the, we'll get that. Good to job. You. Yeah. Yes. Right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay. Thank you. Okay, All right. great God day. bless everyone. Good bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Hey, Ila. Okay, I can stop the recording. I'm trying to get out.